Hello! My name is Mira. I'm a lore keeper in one of Yogg's Thoth's libraries, and today I'm going to tell you about the goddess Sylvia, the Kama Silv tree, and her children. In primordial times, before history was recorded, the holy tree stood rooted in the highest place in the forest. The goddess Sylvia descended together with spirits of nature and named the tree Kama Silv. The energy of the sun begot the Ganels, and the energy of the moon begot the Vidirs who received the blessing of Verger and the Tooth Fairy. From the root realm of Kamasilv came forth the Luthragon, the sons of Sylvia. But coveting the mother's power, the forest fairies encouraged her to channel more and more of her power into Kamasilv, and the mother, deceived by the fairies and deprived of her power, lost her sight and was bound to the thornwood vines. Yet she was not completely deprived of all her strength, as the thornwood vine stained with the mother's blood soon turned into a new sacred tree known as Kuduran. The divine tree of Kuduran waited a long time for the daughters of Sylvia to come to it, and when they brought a branch of Kamasil and grafted it onto the sacred dying tree of Orzeka, a new tree was born named Turasil. In current times, the Ahib use the Turasil's power, but at a great cost, for if they consume too much, they will lose their minds and become the fallen. This is just a very, very basic overview of the three sacred trees related to the goddess Sylvia. But now on to the main point of the video. The three classes in Black Desert that we can play as related to this story are Ranger, Dark Knight, and Archer. Ranger's special weapon, the Kama Sylvian Sword, is made from the branches of Kama Silv itself. Originally this weapon was shared with both Ganels and Vadirs, but their opinions on how to use it differed. Ganel, a descendant of the sun, pursued harmony and wanted to commune with the sword's spirit, whereas Vadir, a descendant of the moon, wished to make the spirit succumb and wanted to have control over it. The dispute between the two led to a civil war within the ranger clan, which eventually would cause Kama Silv to express deep sorrow for the fierce conflict of its descendants, and Kama Silv would shut down all of the power it had originally given to the branches. After this incident, the Ganels would stay in Kama Silvia, vowing to protect the Kama Silv, whereas the descendants of Vadir would venture out in search of a new power, which caused a schism between the two clans. Of course, we know that like there would be other causes for civil war between the Ganels and Vadir, but this is just specifically the conflict that happened within the Ranger clan. Dark Knights are Vadir that still hold strong to their vow to protect Kamasil, even in their exile along with the rest of their Vadir sister, the Ahib and the Saphir. The Saphir would use the power of the black spirits that once tried to consume their homelands, claiming it was a bottomless wellspring, along with the use of the power of Turasil, but this power would eventually drive them mad, consuming their minds to the point to where they could no longer remember themselves and they would attack anything in sight. A new experimental weapon, called the Vediant, allowed delicate control of the energy of the Black Spirits among the Dark Knights, and this weapon was most effective against those who were corrupted by the Black Spirit. Dark Knights in their order, the Obsidian Ashes, still hold out in Odalita to this day, dreaming of a day when perhaps they can return home to their beloved Kamasilv, who they still vow to protect. In the main story questline, we meet a dark knight named Ataraxia, who eventually becomes a fallen. Archer is one of the sons of Sylvia, a Luthragon. They are born to protect the roots of the Kamasilv tree, and come from another realm entirely known as the Root Realm. The Kamasilv actually acts as a gateway to this realm. Luthragons are shunned by both Ganel and Vidir alike, and so they typically walk a lonely road, and are a rare sight in Kamasilvia. Our archer, in particular, was stricken with existential dread after having to fight one of his Vidir sisters, but the goddess Sylvia answered his cries directly in the form of a sylvan wolf that fused with his great bow, giving him power. The reason for this poor treatment of the Luthergons is because of Caphrus, one of the first Luthergons to emerge from Kamasilv, as it is suspected he had ties to Hadum in some way. But the current queen of Kama Sylvia has been more welcoming than her sisters before her, and the Luthergrons have slowly become more accepted. And that's it! A very, very basic summary of the story of Kama Silv, the Rangers, Dark Knights, and Archers. Um, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like, and if you have any suggestions for future topics about Black Desert, um, you can drop me a comment. 
I do have lots of future videos in the works about Nova, Kudarun, Gaifen Raja, Nature Spirits of Kama Sylvia, all that good stuff. Uh, so if you don't want to miss those, you can hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time here in the library.